Welcome back to the show. There's always so much going on in the restaurant scene here in Vancouver. It's almost difficult to keep up what is where. No, it's not. All you have to do is go to Scout Magazine, Andrew Morrison, coming to us to make that transition even easier for you because we know you're lazy. Hello again. How All right, are Andrew, you? nice to see you. I'm good. Uh, before we get into the restaurants, you just completed something that uh, is yeah. astounding to me with your Iron children. Man. Iron Man trip. What did you do? I went for uh, uh, pretty much the month of July on the road in a Volkswagen van down to the deserts of the with American South. With two children? <laughs> with two children and my wife. And you're still alive and sane. I'm happy. I'm refreshed <laughs> and, you know, I've got... How incredible is that? For people that haven't been there, I mean, I've, I've seen the Grand Canyon and have been there and been up close. It is a... And not just the actual vantage points, but the whole drive and the area is yeah. unbelievable. It puts a zap on your head. I mean, when you're seven or ten years old, like my kids, you go to the edge and you just kind of go... It's crazy. Oh. I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> world much. is bigger than me. Yeah, the world. Okay, is let's get to the restaurant yes. scenes. We've got uh, a, a concept opening a vegetarian restaurant. We don't see a lot of these yeah. called Acorn. Tell us about this. Acorn is already open. It's been open for a couple of weeks now, and uh, but it was a long time coming uh, for Vancouver because Vancouver sort of has this tradition with vegetarian restaurants that you have to associate dreadlocks, bad music, and yep. patchouli oil. And, and subpar service for the most part. And bad, yeah. unimaginative food. And, yeah. and that's just something we've suffered for a long time. What Acorn is, is they've taken really high quality ingredients, good service, great uh, uh, interior design, and really amplified the, uh, the food to a level that we haven't nice. seen before. Creativity and vegetarianism. Yes, but it's also really affordable. It's it's nothing, it's not like in a high-end location. It's in the old Cipriano's location mm -hmm. on Main Street in 24th, which is a bit of an icon in Vancouver. Yeah. And I think they're doing it a good service. And, yeah. and that's open now and it's kicking butt. They're oh, nice. Well, I think night. there's a, a definite, there's, oh, there's a, a crowd huge. that want to oh. see that. And Every, if it doesn't scream the old school Vancouver no, vegetarian, no, no, no. people will go. Yeah, I'm red in tooth and claw. Like, I love meat. <laughs> yeah, but, I here, went, but I went here and I had like a strawberry and basil uh, gazpacho that yeah. just blew me yeah. away. Like, they're doing really, really neat things. Well, and that's a great thing with it, is, it, is it's it's not exclusive to vegetarians no, or anything else. You go in there and you just have no. a great meal, period. And that's yeah, the end. they're not Love preachy. In and the let's way. talk about Wildebeest. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, this is James Aranzad from Abigail's Party and uh, Josh Pape from The Diamond. It's been a long time coming, 100 block of West Hastings. It's a There's huge location. There's the voice. Yeah, and so Josh, if you don't know, uh, uh, viewers at home, he's uh, one of the top bartenders uh, in probably Canada. Yeah. Uh, and James is a legend. He's a, he's a wonderful guy. And they've got uh, sh um, West Restaurant's old chef, uh, Dave Gunawan, and they're doing sort of a no-holds-barred, uh, the, sort of the opposite of acorn, where you can get like tomahawk <laughs> steaks, Raw and, meat. Like, and, and they'll be serving you know all the kind of awful uh, the the side yeah. cuts that, that you know the kind of cuts of meat that you don't normally get, uh, they but not just exclusively. They, he, I've seen the menu and and and. There's just so much imagination that they poured into it. What's the timeline for Wildebeest? When is it? Uh... I'm going to say two weeks. Two weeks, They're getting that's real good. close. I did a little bit of a hard hat tour, and I could have taken the hard hat off. They're nearly done. Nice. Yeah. Okay, España. Oh, wow. Denman Street and the West End is it has been sort of like a desert. I call it Fat Ass and Strassa because of all, like, it's got... <laughs> Ice cream, cupcakes, <laughs> it's got a lot of hamburgers, yeah. Yeah. a lot of yeah. <clears throat> and it hasn't really had a lot of quality. It's almost and like a food court on a strip. Exa like, exactly, and it's kind of sad for you know people who want to go out, uh, who live in the neighborhood. Uh, and Ed Perro, who's a bit of a service industry legend here, he was Gord Martin's number one guy at uh, Bin Nine Four One and during the heyday. During yeah. the heyday. Uh, he's been at Chibo Trattoria and La Brasserie. Uh, he's one of our front of house uh, lions. Uh, and Neil Taylor, who I think is one of the best chefs in BC right now, uh, he's been the chef at Chibo. Yeah. Uh, he's an Englishman, used to work uh, at the River uh, Cafe in London, uh, which is Jamie Oliver's old mm -hmm. place. They're opening a place called Espana, which is a 45 seat, 1200 square foot uh, joint on Denman Street. It's going to be Spanish tapas, Spanish wines. Nice. Uh, yeah, so good. it's really nice to see people who, I mean, they've hit the ceiling, right? They've worked as far as they can as employees, and now yeah. they're going to become employers. Well, and that's a, I've noticed that's a theme oh, it's pretty much been. all the yeah. way through yeah, yeah. this. And for Scout itself, I mean, just as a philosophy of the magazine. Is yeah, we always like to, to, to put the message out for people who are, who are first-timers, independents, and, and really. Doing you know, something new. Yeah, first swing at bat. 
Nice. Taco Fino. We talk about them a lot, but that's because yeah. they're delicious. Yeah, yes. well, and an interesting <laughs> transition for these guys from the food truck to uh, yeah. a mortar and, uh, and brick. Right. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I first fell in love with these guys over a fish taco and that soup, uh, uh, tortilla soup yeah. in Tofino. I spent about a month out of the year in Tofino, and these guys were just a truck in a gravel parking lot. And last year, I heard that they were bringing a food truck to Vancouver, you know, with the burgeoning food trucks mm -hmm. in here. Great, you know, yeah. wonderful. Awesome. But they're all over the place with these trucks, and they now have two, so I can't, I can't nail them down. Nor can I get a beer or a shot of tequila. Or right. Whatever. Exactly. But now. But now uh, <laughs> up so in where the are Hastings they opening? Sun, it's Hastings Sunrise. Mm -hmm. it, it's open now. They've been open for less than a week now, and they are, again, kicking butt. Uh, Explain a reference to uh, the tequila as well, because uh, these guys are sort of taking it to the next level. Well, Steve DeCruz, who used to be at the Waldorf, one of our top bartenders, yeah. is in charge of the front of house and the bar program, and he's set up. So there's all there's an Ejo, Reposado, they've got lots of rum. They're really taking cocktails, you know, they're, they're embracing the fact that they finally have Sounds a Sounds like license. a fun spot. <laughs> right. yeah, and it's packed. I mean, from yeah. day one, they've just been rammed. Nice. Okay, Finch's Market, you're specifically excited because this yes. is in your hood. Yes, Strathcona is underserved because it is a residential neighborhood, unlike Portland, which you could, where you can have restaurants and businesses and yeah. residences in residential neighborhoods. Strathcona is a bit of a desert. There are a couple cafes and, and uh, corner stores, but we don't have any restaurants. You have to go to East Hastings for that. Finch's on the corner of Jackson and East Georgia. Finch's is amazing. The original location uh, just here downtown, just a couple blocks away from here. Yeah. They do a sandwich there, baguette, brie. We uh, have a picture of yeah, it. Oh if you're not God. hungry before you see this, Pear, this will uh, make you want to run balsamic. down to Finch's. So when I heard that these guys were opening a, a, a local, sustainable, organic grocery and market on the end of my street. <laughs> you're never going to leave your street. I don't have, uh, like, really. I you don't, don't have to. We get. ask this question all the time. How are you not a big fat ass man i don't no. you know, 20 day road trips with children yeah, yes that'll yes. work it off i was running beside the van the whole time well nice. andrew Love thank it. you so much always nice to see you can check out scout magazine online to find out what's going on and everything in the food scene in vancouver scoutmagazine.ca uh is where you can go and uh just great writing style they're all over the place thank it's you wicked. very much it's awesome thank thanks you. man we're gonna take a break